Increased ads and promotion by companies selling the decorator telephones have increased their demand in the metro area. A random telephone check of area department stores by Channel 8 today indicates sales of such phones are up. But at the same time, Bell officials have not received a corresponding increase in the number of legal installations. And now the company is using tracking devices to try to uncover customers illegally using the store purchase telephones. We have testing equipment where we can uh, move it into a central office and test lines in that office to determine the amount of equipment on the other end of the line that is at your residence. Well, of course, there are ways you can hook up a decorator telephone and not be in violation of our tariffs. Uh, one is by an interface device between your telephone instrument and our telephone network. And another is there are some of these uh, rather attractive foreign type phones where we will, for a fee of uh, something in the vicinity of $35, take the guts or mechanical implementation inside the phone out and replace them with equipment that's entirely compatible with our network. And we will do this if the customer asks us to. Telephone company officials say that improper equipment disrupts service on the lines. That disrupted service means that their technicians have to do more work. And that work is reflected in your bill. The phone company has countered increased sales with an ad campaign of its own, explaining why the telephones drive other costs up. In fact, Bell officials say they currently are looking at the company's financial account with an eye toward a possible rate increase request. By the way, if you have a telephone you haven't mentioned to anybody, Bell officials say you won't be punished for it. Just let them know so they can properly install it and then properly record the fact that you have it. Tracy Rowlett, Channel 8 News.